What's up, YouTube? This is Wyndham Gordon here. I got a deck for fire for you guys. Um, um, I'm still running Evil Swarm. This is pe post September's ban list. Um, I'm pretty excited to run this deck actually in this format. Now it's just not ridiculous where you can just spit out a full row of monsters in one turn. Now it's actually pretty chill and I'm looking forward to it. Um, they're trying to bring Synchros back, so I'm still running Evil Swarm for that reason. Um, so we start off, we have one rabbit. Um, obviously you can't run two anymore, but, you know, to be honest, I cut one rabbit for a Valor because I found rabbit to become a dead draw once I got my three Heliotrope out, which, yes, we run triple Heliotrope. Um, he's searchable by your rescue rabbit. He's a normal monster. Plus, he's a 1950 beater. Um, you can't really go wrong with that. You sit on that until next turn. Or, or instead of being your rescue rabbit target, he can be your caster target. Evil Swarm Caster is basically your um, additional normal summon. When you normal summon him successfully, you get effects. Um, people try to Valor it. That's fine. Um, it's not... It turns into a condition, basically, when he is normal summon successfully. The only thing I can stop is, like, a warning. Judgment. Oh, yeah, they banned that, too. <laughs> we run Triple Mandragora. Um, some people opt this to two, but I feel three is necessary. Because I believe first turn Ophion is a must in the stack, and he helps you out. You know, he doesn't, he isn't dead draw. They're either going to set or normal summon a monster during their turn, so he's your special summon. On top of that, you get a normal summon. You create Ouroboros for that guy. And I can't really go wrong with Ouroboros. And then we run Triple Thunderbird. Uh, he's, your 19, he's your 1950 beater again. But you have to use the effects in, in order for him to become a 1950 beater. His good happens is when he's normal summoned. Um, if they go bottomless, chain effects. Um, his effect is he banishes, and then he comes back during the next standby phase. Not yours, but the next. And he becomes a 1950 beater. It's freaking excellent. He dodges so much. And then the best Evil Swarm monster of your deck, your triple caster. Caster's just ungodly, ridiculously retarded good. And I love him for that reason. Basically what happens is that when he's normal summoned, you can banish one Evil Swarm monster in your graveyard to add another one to your hand, and then you can normal summon to that turn. It's just completely ridiculous and I love it and then we run double Valor um, this is the deck I will be running the regionals um, I'm missing Keymaster Beetle and Safe Zone I'm definitely getting them though um, but again oh yeah and Alley Cataster but anyway uh, double effect Valor is a must I'm thinking about opting it to three because now that we lost all back row I'm going to run triple Valor because now we're going to need it all that we can get and then we run one dead that's monster lineup. It's 19, but soon to be 20 when I get my last failure. And then for the uh, spells, once I get them straightened out here. Okay. For the spells, we play, of course, three pandemic. Um, awesome blanket for your evil swarm monsters. He is. This card protects them against spells or traps. It's a quick play, and it's just good to have. Um, Evil Swarms didn't lose much in the ban list. They lost pretty much their staple spell and traps and a rabbit. But we'll live. Um, but since, you know, we lost Heavy Storm, Triple MST, you got to have at least some denial in this deck, you know what I mean? Um, double Dress, Protect My Ophion. It's just a good card to have, you know. Make them unaffected. And then the staple spells, I guess you could say this format. Allure, Moon, Reinforcement, Dark Hole. Where's your Reborn? <laughs> Onto the traps. Infection, Compulse, uh, Solemn Morning, and Bottomless. I know, it feels so weird not saying all oh, the trilogy because it's broken and it's good. You know, it's weird just saying, not saying that anymore. And then extra deck, Triple Ophion. He's your boss monster of the deck. He denies everything, says no to everything, and then it's just freaking fantastic. The only thing I don't like about Evil Swarms is that they're not fun. Basically, the whole goal of Evil Swarms is to get him out first turn and sit on him the whole game. 
you know, it's not really fun, like, Infernies or not. And then we play Double Hamet. He steals games. Um, detach, discard, enable Swarm Monster, and take control of an, your opponent's monster until the, uh, and for good. Just crazy. Um, Evil Swarm's Lost Shockmaster for the players that played it. So we run Orb World. 2750 Beater has three different effects. It's just crazy good. Um, Thanatos. Thanatos is just a boss. Unaffected by monsters. Effects. Perfect. Um, then we play the Staples. We got Cowboy. Pearl. Steel Swarm. Photon. And then my, uh, Abyss Dweller is going to be coming in the mail along with my uh, Keymaster Beetle. That's it for the deck, guys. So if you enjoyed it, um, subscribe for more. I definitely have some more deck profiles on the way with this new format. I know you guys will be looking for new decks to run and whatever. So, you know, I'm down with that. I'll, I'll bring you guys, you know, deck profiles, box openings. I got Number Hunters there. Um, Hidden Arsenal 5. I got so many for you to open for you guys. So just I just need um, subscriptions and we'll get it done. Um, anyway, though, if you enjoyed the uh, deck profile, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll be sure to do my best to get what the Yugi Tupers community wants. Um, message me for suggestions. Um, if you see any cards that you want to trade out of this deck. You know, just message me and we'll do work something. I go PayPal. Um, this is when I'm signing out.